Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Advanced 8 for Part 5 of Module 1. And you guessed it, we did is odd without modulo, so now we're going to do is even without modulo. Um, exact same idea. Check to see if num is equal to 0. If it is, we are going to be returning true, because 0 is even. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to get rid of any uh, positive, or sorry, we're going to get rid of any, any, oh boy. We are going to get rid of any negative signs on num because it makes zero difference to our eventual answer. Then we're going to repeatedly subtract 2 from num until num is less than 2, which we can accomplish by saying while num is greater than or equal to 2, continually subtract 2 from num and reassign that value to be equal to num. And then finally, if num is equal to 0, then we know that the number that we inputted is true, sorry, is even, so we want to return true. Otherwise, we're going to return false. So, sort out the edge case with zero first. If, in fact, this part actually is going to do that as well, but that's okay. Uh, num is equal to math.abs, which is the absolute value of num. This is going to get rid of any negative signs, which is going to allow this to work. While num is greater than or equal to two, meaning we can still subtract two uh, basically, 2 still divides evenly into the input num, and then we're going to reassign num to be whatever num was minus 2. Finally, after all of that, num is going to be either 0 or 1. If it's 0, the number is even, so we return true. If it's 1, then we're going to return false. So, run our tests, and we're in good shape. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.